Just like its predecessor, the PlayStation 2 has a very unique and memorable startup sequence. Being a major upgrade from the first PlayStation, the PS2 has 2 megabytes dedicated to the sound processing unit and supports 48 hardware channels of ADPCM audio. ADPCM stands for Adaptive Differential Pulse Code Modulation, and Sony uses a special, proprietary version for the PlayStation's audio samples. Not only have the audio capabilities improved, but the PS2 has a much more powerful, nearly 300 MHz processor called the Emotion Engine, and the Graphics Processing Unit called the Graphics Synthesizer, which blows away the graphics of the original PlayStation and, in my opinion, still looks nice even by today's standards even if it doesn't support high definition. While the PlayStation 2's sound processing unit can load up to 512 kilobytes of ADPCM audio at a time, the startup sound is relatively simple and uses only a few of the 17 pieces of sampled audio stored in the BIOS. Now, the BIOS itself has a little bit of human-readable code here and there, but it contains all of the basic software that the PS2 needs to boot, load games, use and manage the memory cards, and interface with the peripherals. The audio data in the BIOS takes up just a little over 500 kilobytes total, although, as mentioned earlier, only a few are used for the startup sound. First, here are all of the sound clips stored in the BIOS. You'll probably recognize some of them as part of the startup sound. The PS2 doesn't always play these sounds exactly as is, and plays them at different speeds, mixing them, and makes use of the sound processing unit's reverb, looping, and envelope effects. After the startup, there's a loop of this soft, whooshing sound effect. Some of the other sounds are used for the menu sound effects. While the original PlayStation had a booming, distinct startup sound, the PlayStation 2 has a much softer, relaxing sound. The PlayStation 2 is a pretty fine piece of hardware, and not only are the graphics pretty nice even by today's standards, the audio quality of the console is extremely good as well. Well, I think that about covers the PlayStation 2 startup sound. You know, I was really surprised at how many people found my PlayStation 1 startup sound video interesting, and I, I know some people requested that I make this video about the PlayStation 2 startup sound. Of course, I'm happy to oblige and apologize for taking so long to get around to making this video. Hopefully it meets expectations. It was certainly fun to make. Thank you to everyone for watching, and I'll have more videos for you again soon. Take care.